You are now tuned in to Freeing the Minds TV, home to mindful living. Peace, love, and light. Mm-hmm. Peace and love, y'all. Back to Freeing the Minds once again. Came out for a nice little nature walk and got caught into a little exercise. About to do some walks up and down these hills for a couple months. Hopefully do a build in a second. Love. Peace and love, peace and love. Welcome back to www.freeingtheminds.com. We are back live in effect out on a nature walk. And um, in the process of catching a nature walk, we caught in some exercises too. Walked up a couple of these hills up here, man, up and down, just catching nice little leg walks. Nice size hill, lengthy hill. But in the process out doing a nature walk, saw a bunch of people out here doing some nature walks and exercising out in nature. So I got inspired. Decided to get down with a couple people on the hill up there, man. So just walked in, jumped in the rotation, and did a couple hills. Felt good. Felt good. So now just on the recline, reflect, and just catching good vibes, man. And um, didn't want to go too much and too long. Just thought something today. Uh, last night, actually, came across the mind. And I was like, you know, during this whole situation that we got going on, it looks like it's going to be an extended period. And it's like... Um, one of the things I was like looking at three things, three things I was looking at on myself. Right. And um, it's an opportunity. Right. Three opportunities, three options, you know, and it's ultimately this is universal. They're universal. So I'm going to share with you what I was thinking. It was like, OK, during this, we get an option to think we get the opportunity to decide one. How do you want to start your day? We decide every morning how we want to start our day. Well, I decide every morning how I want to start my day due to the situation being, you know, laid off and everything, right? The school system's being shut down, not being able to teach and all that type of stuff. So um, each morning, decide how I want to start the day. And each morning, again, I'm still refining that process up, how I want to start it. Of course, we got our prayers, meditations and all that good stuff. So that's definitely part of it. But now it's like a whole new opportunity to create something even more broader or more refined or more you know what I mean? Spend more time in certain things, but it's all to me to decide, um, which led me into the thing. The next thought was, how do you want to live your days? How do you want to live your days now? Like, how do I want to start the day? How do I want to spend the day? How do I want to live the day? How do I want to live the rest of my days? You know what I mean? I'm thinking about this now and, you know, and which lead me to the third question. If and when we get back to the world, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? How do you want to make your living? How do you want to live the rest of your days? How do you want to do it? How do you want to wake up? How do you want to live and spend that morning? How do you want to live the rest of that day? How do you want to live throughout that day and earn your income, earn your way of living, earn your way of life? You can carve it now a little bit more into what you already love to do. It should be a little bit more easier to see it now with all this time. But with all this rain about to come down and stuff, I'm about to go inside. So I'm going to keep it really short. But just those three things, man. One, how do you want to start your day? How do you want to start your day each day? In a, rate, in a rush, in a hurry. We used to hurry and rush and get out the door. Now it's slow it down. You get to take your time. You know what I mean? Decide what you want to put on. Put it on. Wash up. Take your time. And pace it out. Live your life. How do you want to start your day? Two, how do you want to live your days? And three, if and when we get back to the world, so-called world, right? What do you want to do? If we get back to the world, if we're creating something new, what do you want to do? How are you going to do it? What are you going to do? What are we going to do? These things we must think about. So, I don't know, just a couple thoughts that I might share. And it feels good out here. But now I think it's about time to go inside.
So that being said, I wish you nothing but love and light. These three things, these three things, love you all. Wish you nothing but love, light, positivity, and abundance and prosperity, good health, good fortune, and a long life, man. Talk to you soon. Peace and love. Okay, I had to add this in there too, man. On the walk home, I'm seeing a lot of beautiful stuff, man. Everybody's being friendly. People out walking, getting their exercises in, you know what I mean? All type of extra people you don't normally see. It's beautiful, man. I saw a mom homeschooling her kid out front doing an art project and stuff like this, man. All type of lovely things happening, man. We could create a new world for real, y'all. We really can, man. I'm seeing some beautiful things happening. I know we gotta figure out economics and all that good stuff, man, but yo, it's all possible, man. It's all possible. Really seeing values here, man. Seeing people taking it back to the essence of love. Unconditional universal love, man. Working with each other, neighbors working together and stuff, man. So I'm not going to give too much of the location on where I'm at. So I'm going to get back on off, though. Love and light to you. Peace and blessings. Be back on here soon. One. Visit www.freeingtheminds.com for your unique, original Freeing the Minds merchandise and apparel.